Hey guys, uh, this is a quick video to explain this concept uh, high-low method when the costs are changing. So uh, let's look at this example. An organization has following total costs at different activity levels and uh, there are three activity levels 4,000, 6,000 and 8,000 and the relevant costs are 105,000, 150,000 and 109,000. Uh, there's a 20% step increase in fixed costs for each increase in activity level of 5,000 units. And the requirement is to find the total cost of 4,500 units. The problem, uh, normally you would put the 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 lowest activity and the highest activity when you're dealing with high low method however in this question there is a problem and the problem is that the fixed cost is changing after 5000 units and we have uh, two activity levels where fixed cost is higher than uh, 5000 and then one activity level where the fixed cost is less than uh, 5000 if this is the case in, in a question, then you need to pick up the activity levels which are um, which are more, which are which have the same uh, fixed cost in those. So in this case, six thousand and eight thousand have the same fixed cost. So we should use six thousand and eight thousand. If there are two activity levels below five thousand, let's say four thousand and four thousand five hundred, then we could have picked. 4,000 and 4,500 to calculate our variable cost per unit. But in this case, we have to stick to 6,000 and 8,000. And if we pick 4,000 and 6,000 or 4,000 and 8,000, then our calculation would be incorrect. The solution uh, next to it explains this concept, uh, but I, I, I found that some students are struggling uh, to understand this. And the problem is the fixed cost in this case. So what we need to assume here to start with is that if the fixed cost is 100 below 5000 units, it increases to 120 after 5000 units. So if you understand this concept, uh, then you can solve this question. So I'm going to solve this question now. So for high-low method, what we do is we pick uh, um, our variable cost per, per unit would be equal to change in cost divided by change in activity so the change in cost let's pick up two activity levels 8000 and 6000 and I explain why we need to pick because at 8000 and 6000 our fixed cost is same and our cost are 190,000 minus 150,000. If you do the maths, the change in the cost is 40,000 and change in activity is 2,000 and this gives us variable cost per unit of 40,000 divided by 2,000 which is 20. If you will use 4,000 and 6,000 or 4,000 and 8,000, you will get it wrong because there is a also change in the fixed cost, so you will not get the right answer. Next, what we do is we calculate fixed cost, um, which is equal to total cost at any activity level minus variable cost per unit which we have already calculated times number of units 
So this is the equation to calculate fixed cost in this case. Yeah. So let's apply this equation now. Our total cost, let's pick uh, 6,000 units activity level because we need to pick one activity level. And at 6,000 units, our total cost is given 150,000 minus total number uh, of units, uh, uh, variable cost per unit, which is 20 times number of units, 60,000. 6,000, sorry. And if we solve this, 150,000 minus 20 times 6,000, and we get our fixed cost as 30,000. We have found the fixed cost, but I would like to double check it at 4,000 units, uh, sorry, 8,000 units. And let's apply the same thing, 190,000 minus 8,000 times 20. And we get our answer, 190,000 minus 8,000 times 20. And we get 30,000. So this proves that our fixed cost is 30,000 but this both of these activity levels are more than 5,000 units so there will be a problem if you try to calculate uh, fixed cost uh, at 4,000 units using this method so if we calculate let's say calculate it for that we have um, 105,000 total cost minus 4,000 times 20 and we will get a figure of minus 4,000 times 20 and this gives us 25,000. Now this is an interesting point because if the fixed cost is same then it should be 30,000 at uh, 4,000 as well, but the question itself tells us that the fixed cost takes a jump of 20% after it reaches uh, 5,000 units. So what it does that uh, 25,000 is the actual fixed cost, and then when we exceed our 5,000 units, it increases by 20%. So it becomes from 100% to 120%. So if you multiply this with 120%, 25,000 times 1.2, and you get 30,000. So this is the concept which students sometimes struggle to understand, but the main point is that you need to pick two activity levels which have the same fixed cost if the fixed cost is changing in the question. And if you don't do it, then you will get it wrong. So I hope this makes sense now. And uh, you can answer the question with uh, 4,500 units. If you do it for 4,500 units, and this is a very good technique if you want to plan our future production. So next month, if our production is, um, production is 4,500 units, we can calculate by using this equation which is a total cost equals fixed cost plus variable cost. So applying this formula, uh, total cost equals fixed cost. Now because the total units are less than 5,000, we will have to take 25,000 instead of 30,000 and plus we do our 4,500 units times variable cost per unit which is 20. So if we solve this we get 25,000 plus 4,500 times 20 
and this gives us our answer which we can see in the question so i hope you like this video guys and um, it makes a lot more sense now thank you for watching this video